everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Wednesday, June 7th, 2017. Welcome to the Wednesday show. We are halfway through the week and so close to E3 coming up in just a few days. If you're looking for something to play while you wait, how about giving Mirage Arcane Warfare a try because Valve is hosting a free weekend for it on Steam starting tomorrow, June 8th and ending on Sunday, June 11th. And then right away, I have to show you this Pikachu USB power adapter. It's not news, it's just hilarious, and I hope it puts a smile on your face. The gun running update for GTA Online has a release date of June 13th, where players will be able to start their own illegal arms business. I mean, completely legal bread baking company. Yeah, bread. Do you need a 50 caliber sourdough? Or how about a 12 gauge baguette? Let me know in the comment section down below. Final Fantasy Dissidia, I think I'm saying that correctly, has been announced for PS4 coming sometime 2018. Hopefully we learn more about this one coming up next week. Overwatch has gotten a small patch just to fix a couple of bugs. And speaking of Overwatch, the anniversary event is ending on Monday, and starting tomorrow, Blizzard will be offering a double XP weekend for all three platforms until the event concludes. No Man's Sky has not been in the news lately, but today it makes an appearance for something positive, and I promise I'm not going to say anything negative about it. Through cassette tapes put out by Hello Games, players have been able to discover the word portal. No one knows what this is referring to and there is still more to be discovered on the tapes. Let me know what you think this is in the comment section down below. E3 is next week and I'm getting anxious about it but today we learned that Hideo Kojima's new game Death Stranding will not be making an appearance at the event. Mr. Kojima says his studio will be working on the game at that time. A few days ago Sony's Jim Ryan said in regards to backwards compatibility why would anybody play this and today I've got some hard numbers to back up my argument and this article right here says that 1.5 5% of Xbox One owners use the feature. Now yes, this doesn't sound like very much at first, but if you do the math, that's roughly 400,000 people, which no longer sounds like a small number. If the exact same percentage is applied to PS4 owners, that's a staggering 800,000. This may be something for niche gamers, but there's entire franchises built around selling a product to niche groups all of the time. If Sony doesn't think those 400 to 800,000 gamers aren't worth catering to, then I wonder how they're at the top of the market share in the first place. Now let's move on to something that probably should be the main topic today, but I want to talk about Minecraft more. Today marks the day that Steam Greenlight is no more. This morning, Valve closed voting on Greenlight forever, and it will be about a week before the new program, Steam Direct, takes over on June 13th. Ultimately, I do believe this will make change, but it's up to Valve to make changes to Steam Direct itself, as developers continue to find holes and weak points in the system. I think one of the goals is to put fewer games onto Steam, and while that may sound counterintuitive, having less shovelware, asset flips, and overall fake games on Steam means more good games and getting more out of your dollar. And that brings us to our final topic today, which is the 1.12 update to Minecraft, also known as the Colorful Update, something that I have been anticipating for a couple of months now. But before we get into that, the rumors about a Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 are absolutely true, and the second season will start on July 11th for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and mobile platforms. The full Season 2 will have a physical release sometime in August, which will contain all episodes. Alright, so back to Minecraft 1.12. The most notable feature is the addition of concrete blocks, and hardened clay is now known as terracotta. The base color palette has been updated to be more vivid and colorful, and now advancements have been added. Advancements are a lot like achievements, except they guide the player through the different tasks that Minecraft has to offer, like fighting the ender dragon, or making your way through the nether. Finally, one of the big features that I'm excited about is the addition of parrots, which if you recall, caused a little bit of controversy in the past few weeks by feeding them chocolate as a breeding mechanic. Mojang, of course, responded by saying that they would change it to something more appropriate, and I am very thankful for how they acted by taking the matter very seriously. Just like removing that pesky hero brine. For those of you who are running Bucket or Spigot, those have not been updated by the filming of this episode. Uh, they should be updated by Friday. I'll keep you up to date on all of that. How long have you been playing Minecraft? How old is your server if you're running one? Show me a picture of your best build in the comment section down below. Now it's time to make way for tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Galactic Missile Defense, Fight or Die 2. Lines, Scarlet Mysteries, Cursed Child, Darknet, Breaking Fast, Amber's Magic Shop, Dragon Essence, Color My World, Lux Alliance, Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap, A Normal Day, Rival Books of Aster, Terra Mystica, Dead Effect 2 VR, World of One, and V Rush. For Nintendo Switch, Goner. And for Nintendo 3DS, Anime Workshop. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And don't fart in the Apple Store. There aren't any windows. So yeah, I'm a little upset that Spigot isn't updated yet. That's what I use to run my Minecraft server because it's it makes it really, really efficient because I've tried running it with basic Java before and it still runs. I can still get it to run that way, 
but uh, certain things don't work right because of the way Spigot divides up the world. But that isn't that big of a deal. It's because the world is actually so big now, it really starts to lag if I don't have a good processor. I mean, I've got a good processor, but it's only a dual core, so eh, it's all right. You know, it's fine for what it is. Spigot makes it way more efficient, and um, it should be it should be here really tomorrow. If not, like I said, by Friday, the very latest. I don't, I don't have any conf confirmation on that. I'm, they just work really fast, and they want this stuff up and ready to go for everybody. So more than likely, it'll be up either tonight, tomorrow morning, or Friday, the very, very latest. I doubt. I really do not do not see it um, being put up on Saturday or any later than that. These people work really fast. They're, they're really great over there. Um yeah, I can't wait to play. I can't wait to start playing Minecraft again. I haven't really played Minecraft very much in the last six months or so. But that's how I play it. I put it down, I pick it up, I put it down, and I pick it up. But now there's going to be a lot of new blocks to play with, a lot of new stuff to do. We could come up with a bunch of new stuff and start farming materials and whatnot. Um, let's see. It's getting hot lately. I have no idea how much time I have in the camera anymore for this. You know, when it was cooler, I was getting, you know, 40 minutes out of it before I had to stop and, uh, and, um, wait for everything to cool down. But now I get 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I don't know. Um, what else? What else? What else? There's really not a lot going on lately. If you haven't noticed, there's really just not a lot going on lately because E3 is next week. Nobody's doing anything. Everybody is preparing for E3 and everybody's like trying to just get, get, get mentally prepared for that. If you are a developer, you're physically getting ready for that by moving, to, moving for that. Uh, there's going to be a ton of games announced, a ton of stuff to talk about, just tons and tons of stuff. Uh, remember, the, the the basic format for the show is going out the window. You're going to have me with a picture in the side over here. Yeah, it's going to be over here. And we're just going to talk about the whole thing and do a, um, a little bit of different editing style. I'm going to go a couple of, couple of different lines and try to do sort of like what I did last year because I kind of like the way I did last year. I just don't want to do so many jump cuts because then I'll be jump cutting every time time the frame jump cuts and it, it won't look it, i don't know if that'll look right because it'll be like jump cut with a jump cut with a jump cut with a jump cut and i don't really i don't, I don't know well i'll have to see how it looks first um i i'm gonna try to not put out uh, a bad video you know i at least have decent lighting and sound and stuff um you know, I, I think everybody deserves that minimum. Like, that's the min bare minimum to make a video on youtube if you can't do good lighting and good sound stop go back when you can and i mean at least decent lighting if you can't do decent lighting like what i had before with my single overhead bulb yeah yeah go if you if you can afford it go spend 70 bucks on some lights and yeah they're hot it's hot and it's it, you know it's a little it's a little uh perspiry but look at how good i look <laughs> um let's see what else what else yeah uh steam green light I mean, I never really participated in Steam Greenlight too much. I, I found it to be kind of fun to go look through the games that are happening. Uh, it's also nice to see, like, when what other good games may be coming up. But if you watch Jim Sterling's show, you know that there's a ton of crap on Greenlight. His Best of Steam Greenlight series was amazing because it just showcased all of the crap that was on Steam, that was on Greenlight specifically. But then he also had his Greenlight Good Stuff series, which is what it was, and I saw some actually some really good games off of there that these games needed to go be voted for, that these games, we, we want these games on Steam. Yes. And I, I, I thought that that series did a lot more good, but, you know, you, you gotta, you, gotta, you know, doing good is complimenting the good, but at the same time criticizing the um, poorly made. So, you know, um, such is life. Life, no. Social media links are over here, everybody. Click over in the top of the description down below if you want to have access to them. But click over here if you want to subscribe to my channel. And click over here to watch yesterday's episode where we talk about Pokemon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. I'm going to go out of this episode and have a good night. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.